Our next film is a lot better, I think, Body Heat. It's my kind of movie, stylish, menacing, sensual, constantly entertaining. This film, Body Heat, was written by Lawrence Kasdan, the same person who wrote the John Belushi film we just discussed a minute ago, Continental Divide. So, I think this is a sneak preview's first two films by one writer on the same show, and I like them both. Body Heat is set in a sweltering Florida resort town. William Hurt stars as a bachelor attorney who is drawn into a murderous web spun by a slick femme fatale played by Kathleen Turner. She's unhappily married to a wealthy businessman, and after one brief encounter, Hurt spots her again at one of her regular hangouts, a bar full of single men. How'd you find me, Ned? <gasps> this is the only joint in Pine Haven. You shouldn't have come. You're going to be disappointed. What did I do? A lot of them have tried that seat. You're the first I've let stay. You must come here a lot. <sighs> Most men are little boys. Maybe you should drink at home. It's too quiet. Maybe you shouldn't dress like that. This is a blouse and skirt. I don't know what you're talking about. You shouldn't wear that body. Sometimes, I don't know. I just get so sick of everything, I'm not sure I care anymore. Do you know what I mean, Ned? I know that sometimes it comes down so heavy, I feel like I should wear a hat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I'm going to get out of here. i got to go home. I'll take you. I have a car. I'll follow you. He does follow her home, but when they get there, she doesn't want him to stay. That's a great movie moment, <laughs> great music and image. Their relationship does take off, but what is not said in all of its highly charged emotionalism is the problem of what to do with her husband, who is out of town a lot. Turner visits Hurt in his office, and their plans begin to take shape. I'm afraid of him, Ned. I'm That's always afraid. Good. You have to be very careful now about the phones. Why, Ned? Why do you say this we now? could account for a couple of calls. We've had some contact. It would make sense. Why, Ned? What's happened? Kill him. We both know that. It's what you want, isn't it? We knew it was coming. It's the only way we can have everything we want, isn't it? There's a powerful mood of danger throughout Body Heat as we watch both characters knowingly do things they know mm. they should not do. <laughs> Body Heat is a solid adult movie-going experience, crisply written, very well acted. I loved it.
I was sitting there. I was following this movie, every twist, every turn. Sure. Is it a double cross? Is it a triple cross? Mm -hmm. Is it a double cross back away I didn't suspect before? I just loved the intricacy of the plot. It's like a clockwork uh, uh, piece of fiction. Well, it is good. Walking out of the theater, I was thinking of things that happened in the first mm -hmm. half hour of the film and how they all fit with things that happened at the end. It's, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It yeah. was intellectually challenging. But I didn't care how it turned out. And I wow. really wasn't sitting there thinking, you know, what, which way is it going to go. Mm -hmm. I liked it in the moment. I like those scenes. I don't care. In the best mysteries, it isn't the mystery. It's mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. turning through the, the, the plot. It's all of that. It's mm -hmm. the music. It's the... The, the photography, mood. the costumes, also the passion, the sexuality. Also coming out of a very uh, lame brain kind of summer season of movies. This uh -huh. was adult and strong, and I liked it a lot. So far, it's on my list of the year's 10 best. Mine I don't too. Know what the fall still has to offer. But from one of the most entertaining movies of the year, let's move on to one of the least entertaining and most painful movies of the year. Two big yes votes for Body Heat, the chilling thriller starring William Hurt as a man in love, in heat, and in trouble. <laughs> so clearly the message is... Go see Body Heat. I think it, I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. That's all for this week.